I worked out and um, was that you, Larissa? We had two options. We had you can either row inside or you can go out for the run. Well, Jim, you probably know what I end up doing. You were row, row, row your boat. I was rowing inside <laughs> because of my hair. Yeah, Hello. I was gonna say. I didn't want my hair to get messed up. But man, that rain from my other fellow workout people—they it said they said it felt so nice. So I bet the rain felt really nice, even though you should have probably be running during thunderstorms. However, let's go ahead and talk what's expected over the next several days. Today, we know it's going to be hot and humid. Yes, another one of those days where if you don't have to spend too much time outdoors, it's probably best not to. But I think what takes precedence is what's going to happen as we head towards tomorrow, but especially by Friday morning. So we are going to be watching for Tropical Storm Elsa and its effects on our region. Now, tropical moisture will be moving in as early as Thursday morning, and we're going to be trying Tracking downpours and thunderstorms likely. Now, Elsa's nearest approach to our region Thursday night and into Friday morning, flash flooding is going to be the main threat. But we could see significant storm surge out of this, especially with a closer track. Gusty winds along the shore and isolated tornadoes are also not out of the question the closer the storm tracks to our region. Let's go ahead and talk future weather because I've been holding out on this. Wednesday, this is 845. This is tonight. We'll see some showers and storms primarily north and west of Philly. I do think Philly remains dry, so not going to be tracking heavy rain like yesterday. Come Thursday night, Take a look at Elsa's moisture beginning to penetrate our region. Also, take pay attention to those wind particles that are beginning to increase. That just tells you that wind field with this storm pretty high and significant. And no matter where it's going to be tracking, we'll feel we'll certainly feel those high winds as we head towards 5:15 on Friday morning. Heavy, blinding rain over us, and we'll be tracking certainly that heavy rain to continue into parts of Friday before the storm departs altogether. And we. Are in store for check this a beautiful weekend 85 on Saturday 84 low humidity by Sunday and then we do uh, crank up the heat again as we head towards the next week Monday so we just have to get through the rest of the week before the weekend looks fantastic we love when you 